it describes this situation. You can kind of think of it one way to make it easy to remember is that a plane wave falls towards the normal when it goes into a heavier medium. So you can kind of have a gravitational analogy. It's falling towards the normal at a heavier medium because if you go for, to a higher N2, if that number is bigger, the sign has to become smaller to make this thing be equal. Right? So that's why a bigger N means a smaller angle. And we can show you that this will happen here. So here I have a, um, uh, a boundary between two dielectric media. I have air here, n equals one, and I have water here, which is about n equals about 1.33. So I have my 532 vacuum wavelength nanometer um, uh, plane wave here, and I can send it into the glass, but you can't see it in the air, so we'll use our Houston humidity again with some liquid nitrogen and get a little smoke layer just enough to get some smoke. And that's a little too much. And I think you'll be able to see, once the dust settles here, the nice bend as the um, laser beam falls towards the normal. As it goes from the, there we go, as it goes from the air above, where you're just seeing the scattering off the condensation to the water where you're seeing scattering because I put something in the water to make it scatter. So there you can see the um, sharp bend of the beam as it goes into the denser medium in the water. It's falling towards the normal because the water has a higher index. So that's what we can learn about these angles. Now let's look at the amplitudes.